Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. I was thinking about whether, you know, you have to be in love to be married. People talk about, well, you'll know when it's the right one when you're in love. And that's just so vague. Everybody that gets married and pledges, you know, that they will love the other person or they do love the other person and it doesn't work out, well, something something was wrong there. They might have said they were so madly in love when they got married and six months later or six years later, they get divorced. Sometimes 25 years later, people get divorced and, and people say, well, mm -hmm. you know, when you're in love, then it's time to get married. I can't think of anything more wrong than that when you're in love, then get married. Well, I would forget that the term in love even exists because what does that even mean? It means different things to different people. I don't think you have to be in love with someone to get married. I think that's one of the many reasons why there's so many single people in the world. They're confused about the purpose of marriage. Why would I even want to get married? I talk about it a lot here. I talk about that a lot here in all my videos on Love Beyond the Sea. I've got over 1,200 of them on um, on uh, Rumble and on YouTube. Uh, more people are watching on TikTok, which is good. But I don't think this is a, a strange idea. It may sound strange, but I think when you're ready to commit to loving someone, then um, you don't just tell them, you prove it. You go and you get married and then you determine to stay married which you will because you're both in love you're both saying at least that you're going to love them so no matter what happens that doesn't change because you have determined to love that person and when two people determine they're going to love each other or even if one of the two husband and wife determine that they are going to love their spouse that marriage can stay together Arranged marriages, sometimes they, they know each other a little bit, sometimes they don't, but who cares? Uh, once they're married, they are committed to to loving each other. And when that happens, I don't think you have to know somebody for two, three, or four, or five years. Uh, the longer you wait, the more you can look for things that are wrong or signs of red flags, and then you end up wasting all that time and not getting married to someone. I would rather see people just, you know, not beat around the bush, just just get married. Just determine somebody that uh, you uh, can get along with. They're far from perfect, just like you are. You're going to have your squabbles and your disagreements and your I can't believe you said that or want to do that moments. Uh, that's so what? That's just par for the course. You know, marriage is not some mystical thing that, you know, everything is easy. It's you know, it's not easy to, to always, you know, want to be doing what's best for the other person, to be forgiving, uh, selfless, patient. That's really important. But if you do those things, you don't have to know somebody a long time. You don't even have to be in love. Now, I got married in 54 days, 54 days from a woman from 9,800 flight miles away that I went to see and started paying for a wedding um, and making all those arrangements and starting immigration, you know, paperwork, whatever I could do before I even met this woman. And then I met her, Davao City, Philippines, 2015, we got married. That was about seven years and five months ago, and we're still married. I only, you know, I told her in my vows, I will love you, okay? And, and I have, that's what I vowed to do. What I felt before then really doesn't matter because your feelings can come and go with the first, um, shocking words or the the shocking behavior and all that stuff um, is going to happen. It should happen less the longer your marriage goes on. So do you have to love, be in love or love someone before marriage? No. Um, once you walk down the aisle and you're in front of witnesses and a a minister and you say, okay, you know, everybody here, you hold me accountable because I'm telling you that I'm going to love this person. Then um, that's it. From that point on, you love them. 
and uh, if they aren't lovable, you love them because that's what you said you were going to do. So everything before then is um, infatuation, it's uh, maybe some sexual attraction, or it's this thought that, you know, my standard of living is going to get better, I'll be able to travel, or, or whatever your reasons for getting married. Marriage is a great thing. Um, but if you even feel like you're ready to commit to somebody for the rest of their life, no matter what happens, then you're ready to love that person and do whatever is best for them. Be their servant leader if you're a husband, no matter what. And um, that's, that's what love is. You don't do it before you're married. A lot of people have had a lot of relationships, no marriage, and those relationships were duds. They didn't go anywhere because the man never loved the woman. <clears throat> and the woman may have let him take advantage of her, thinking that that would get him into marriage, which it just doesn't work that way. Uh, so I'm just trying to make you think a little bit here. I got married quickly. Many others have gotten married quickly. And, you know, I think the key is you determine, okay, we're going to love each other. I'm going to treat her so well. There's no reason for her not to treat me well. And um, maybe then people will stop being single like I was in, in, in my 50s. I hadn't thought about overseas, international dating. I thought it was... I just never thought about it. You know, I thought something closer, of course, would be better. But I went overseas. I went where I was wanted and I didn't hesitate to commit to that person. That's why we got married in 2015. And that's why we're still married here today. So let me know what you think about this. I'm done rambling. I just wanted to tape something here before the football game about do you have to be you know, do you have to love someone? If you say you're in love again, I don't even want to hear that term because nobody knows what it means and, and it carries no weight. So should you commit to loving somebody before marriage? Yes. Do you have to love somebody before then? No. Just get married and start loving them. That's what I teach here, among other things, on love beyond the sea.